Hi, I would like to welcome you to this uh, short video explaining uh, how I communicate between two activities and building an application uh, as well. Uh, this, this application uh, is, is showing a simple uh, a mortgage loan application. So the mortgage loan is when you want to buy a house and so on. So it's just like a typical loan you get from, from the bank, which it requires uh, how much you need to borrow from the, from the bank uh, and uh, what is the interest rate uh, as well as over how long you want that uh, uh, loan. So you have three attributes which are uh, the, the amount, the rate uh, and of course number uh, of years. Uh, what we're going to do in this, uh, in this uh, showcase, we're going to create uh, the main view, which represents actually what's the output, uh, showing the number, the amount, the number of years and the rate and how much you need to pay monthly and what's the total payment for that. Uh, right. uh, so based on that, we give another uh, activity, which what it does, it allows the user uh, of the application to enter the amount, enter the interest rate and select from radio button uh, the number uh, of uh, years terms uh, in this case right so uh, and to show how we actually pass the data between these two activities uh, we can use different approaches uh, but in this case we're going to we're going to concentrate of using uh, static variables which actually allows make the application more uh, optimized uh, as performance wise and easy uh, to understand and, and, and to write. So let's go ahead and delve into this, this application. Uh, for start, there are three parts. Of course, the first part we're going to do, first and second part, we're going to do both the, the layout and then we're going to talk about uh, creating uh, the classes. Uh, two for two act the activities and one for the the mortgage. So we're going to talk to about them uh, in details. On the first part here it is. So we've got the first layouts here. Uh, definitely, uh, we're going to just get some this here. Uh, I'm going to make a table layout here. I'm going to show you using the table layout here and. So table, table layout, and here we remove this one. Table layout, I can create table rows in order to put actually the output. First of all, let me just make the margin smaller. I don't want the whole screen, here it is. So I put 16 dp, here it is. And then I create, I create table, table rows, so I insert rows. And inside rows, remember, don't put slash at the end of it. So put the width and height of it, here's the width and the height, don't close it, just put clear this table, and then put everything is going to be inside. So text view, I'm going to put for the amount, as the amount, okay, as titles here, and the padding just put 10 to make it size wise, and the gravity put in the center, uh, I might change it later on. Then I can add actually the, the amount, which is uh, 100,000, so I'll give the idea to it because I need it here, so put the as an amount. Uh, and and hit it. so yeah, takes of it. So I'm gonna handle say hundred thousand. It's hundred thousand. Uh, ego and definitely ego. So when when I do on the side of gravity, put the center. Um, I might change it. Based, depends depends on uh, what we're gonna do later on. That's it. So uh, let me copy this as well. That is. I'm gonna create another row underneath it. That is. So change it to years. And this one, uh, I'm gonna go to us. Uh, uh, all right years there you go and I put the number as 30 to start with okay we can explain that's why we're going to do this one i'm going to just copy it again yeah and paste it and i'm going to change them around with the interest interest rate uh, right uh, and this is uh, it's going to be a right uh, let me change it to interest rate interest rate here it is and here's right here yeah. okay that's in the center so that's what it looks like that now what we're going to do after like this I'm gonna put here, let me put red, let me just uh, put a red line, red line across here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a comment here. Look at the comment I do, as you put the comment, so I create a red line, a separator actually between them, right? Separator, here it is, here. So I'm gonna create a view, you can either test view or view. I'm gonna create a view, just show you how we do that. That's the view, I need the height of it, we create 5 dp, here it is, and the 
width. You see the width here. Width and width is very much parent. And the boots is background to it. This is background, background and hash. Uh, FF zero zero. Can be alright. Here it is. So rest separator. There you go. So I've done this one. Let me cover this one again. And I put actually and that is the both monthly and the total. All right. So let me put monthly. Yeah, it is. So I say monthly payment. Monthly. No, sorry. Monthly payment. There you go. And here it is. And the amount is based on say this one. Let's say right, payment. Right. Payment, sorry, yeah, payment. There you go. And the payment is based on the calculations. It's gonna be go AD. Okay, and four four nine zero four. Okay, and let me come it out again. Then I'll make it the total based on the calculations, of course. There you go. To start with, so that's I'm gonna make it that's the total total payment. Make a total, that is total payment, and definitely this one is going to make a total. Uh, go total, total, it is. and the total is going to be ID 16154. There you go. So that's done. Now, what I'm going to do, <coughs> well, I don't need to copy it, then I'm going to create one. It is. I create table row, it is based on table row, that is width, there you go, wrap contents. Wrap contents and the height is wrap contents as well. It is. I'm going to create a button inside this. It is. But the gravity is center. When I put the gravity center, the button is going to is going to sit in the center of the is the the, the it, it's going to divide divide it into three and put it in the center. It is. So I create a button here. And if you notice, I put the margin here. It is. Modify data. It is. And definitely put. The width of the top contents and I need to put on a click on it on a click yeah, it is let's say modify okay and that's what it is all right so create this one let me create run the applications yeah just see what that looks like yeah, just in case I need some changes there you go okay to start that's good uh, if you notice that the, actually the, 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 the labels are uh, in the center, they put them to the left. I go south left, put them left, it looks more nicer. Left, uh, then the years as well, but like that, at left, left, okay, and then the interest rate, left, and the monthly payment, left as well, right there, okay. And run it again. Let's see. It is okay. Left. Oh, the total payment is still in center, so I need to go and change it left. So it looks looks fine. The the output. Okay. Second part uh, we're gonna do uh, create the second activity and the layout of it. We're gonna show you how you do relative layout. We're familiar with it. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna add actually radio buttons. Uh, make sure if you wanna get radio buttons uh, on the screen, they have to be part of a radio group. And we're gonna see that in the layout as as we do uh, them uh, in, in in this in this video. So let's let's carry on and go ahead and see how how that be uh, can be achieved. Okay. So first of all, from here I can go and create an activity. There you go. So I can go to activity. It is an empty one. I can create that activity. It is and go to here. There you go. So go to the main layer that is the job file that is and of course let me go see the split the code so i'm going to create first of all relative layout here relative layout there it is and make sure i'm going to say it's out the horizontal and make sure it's the same as well for the for the margin so orientation make it horizontal and the margin make it 16 as the other ones so make it consistent there you go so first of all we're going to put as the a number of years so label i'm going to put label years label is here it is so layout right parents that's in my wrap content and the id you have to put ids because i'm going to label years 
because we need to put each the each per commerce related item. So as label as years, as you can see, it appears there. Uh, ready buttons. I have to have groups. So I have ready groups here. You have to say which way horizontal or vertical. So it's horizontal. Uh, it is below. There you go. So you go to this quick ready buttons here. Part of ready groups. Remember. So I'm going to create three, 10, 15, and 30. So here it is. So that's 10. Here it is. Number 10. So I copy it and paste it twice. Then paste twice. There you go. This is twice here. So I'm going to make it 15 and put the number 15 as well. Here it is. And the other one is 30. So the ID is 30. And the number is 30 as well. There you go. So that's being created, if you notice. Now, what we're going to do, because we have the IDs here, here it is. So one of them has to be checked. So I check this through. Always it would last one. The gravity left, and I'm going to get to put distance in a minute for, for them. Now, text view below it. I'm going to go for the amount. There it is. So label amount. You can see that. So let me put the, it is. So top margin with 50 here. And with text, I'm going to say amount. Uh, amount. Sorry. There you go. Okay. And then I will add the text next to it. So the typical. Yeah, so you can do a drag and drop if you want, but I'm just typing it here. I've got that amount here. And there we go. It's to the right of amount label, of course. Yeah, it is. And we can see that I'm going to move it, align with this button. You can align with a, a base alignment. It's up to you where you want it. Well, it's based in, in your design. So there yeah, it is. Uh, there you go. So I'm going to put it with the, 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 the center. Right, then but I'm going to make it this amount as well. There you go. Let me copy this one. So at the end, 100,000. Okay, there it is. So let me copy it and put some for the rate as well. So I'm going to change it. label rate, label rate, there it is, and label data rate. There it is. Change uh, all of this. We can put this one 3.5. Yeah, 3.5. There you go. And I'm going to change the video. It's not years, it's below amount. Here it is. So below amount, here it is amount. And definitely this one. Yes, it is. Yes. Right. And this one right as well. So I'll just make it consistent. There you go. Now what we're going to create, I'm going to get the button here for the part is done. Here it is. On the radio here. Uh, the the group the button here. Okay, but in the center, I'm going to below the data right here, and put 50, yeah, right, with 50 dp here, and I'm going to put text on it. Text, I'm going to say text is done, done here, yeah. okay, and of course, on a click, make sure I'm going to call go back to go back there. So make sure it's here. Look at that top margin of this, yeah, move it a bit, yeah, and I've got yes, the bad things, so I'll move it. A bit so it's similar then i'm going to shift everything to the left here so oh, let me go there you go left margin left let me give it 20 dp there you go and the small ones as well yeah right. so the margin left here it is so i'll make it make it dp for the binary buttons the same things for the other ones as well to make it consistent between them they go 10 dp for the 15 and for 30 as well margin left make it 10 there you go so that's been created. If you notice, that's all been done. So look at this one. If I click on modify data for this one, it should come to this one. And I, the user can put all this data here. I okay. Have we done all the layouts now? Uh, what we can do, we can both layouts here, you can see them. I'm going to create a class which refers as a mortgage, which I need you to include all the, the three components. So it's mortgage, it is. So I'm going to create uh, both the amount, rate, uh, and the year. So the amount is going to be both amount and rate and, and float, and then in years and in, in, in digits. So here it is. Now, uh, as we've done already, just right click, generate. I'm going to generate the constructor. And I select which uh, attributes as it has been done. Now I can go and generate setters and getters. It is so they all been generated for me. Now in the setters, usually we we say uh, if it's a zero. So for if years is zero, and then I go for if rate is zero. So uh, greater than zero, the will apologize. And I go for the amount as well. Uh, <clears throat> 
the amount is greater than zero. So, so what? There you go. So this, we can do it. Well, I haven't done this. Then we go and change the mortgage as we uh, do it. So do the set. It's far, far better. Okay. So that's set amount. There you go. And it is set years. And then set right. It'd be a good idea if we can create, actually, a, a default contract as well. So I'm going to go and right click and generate. I'm going to generate just I'm going to none, select none, it's going to give me that. So I'll give it actually default values, which is 100,000 here. So don't forget with the F for, for short. And the years, I'm going to with 30 years. Uh, I go, and rate, I'm going to 3.5, as we have just done. So that's float as well. Now, having done all this, what we need to create, we need to create the, 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 the how much we need to calculate for the monthly payment. So I, I go to public calculate monthly payment. It is, and the formula for that. So first of all, I'll get the M rate, which is get rate and divide by 100, which that gives me the percentage, and then divide by 12. So over 1,200. Now I get uh, get the temp just uh, split it, split the 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 formula uh, to small pieces. That is, so that's power one plus okay, M rate, the power of it is. Let's see it here. There it is. Well, right. Then having done this, okay, having done that, now I can return actually the the amount as the amount times that is monthly how much the M rate over. Remember that's double, so I have to cast cost the temp double. I have to cost it, cost it to float. That is one minus ten. Okay. Now having done this, let me go to the total uh, payment. So public float uh, calculate total. Sorry, total payment of years times 12. So that's going to give me total monthly payment. There it is. Get years. There you go. And that's times times 12. So we've done. Now, this is the mortgage class. I've mean, created the mortgage class. Now, what we can do, we can go and set all the uh, attributes for the others one. So from text views. Okay, so the amount, so I got the amount TV and rate TV from text view, the US TV, and of course monthly payment TV and the total uh, payment uh, TV. I've done these views once here. I need to go create an object of type uh, mortgage. This. So make it make sure this is public and static, so it can be seen by other other classes. So mortgage, as mortgage, make sure to declare everything here. So the amount TV, or use the find typical find view by ID. It is just relate them to the uh, layout. There you go. So we've got the amount TV, right TV, years TV, uh, and of course the monthly statement and total payment. Having a total payment. Having done this, make sure we're going to get, get, uh, declare the, the object as well. So I'm going to the mortgage equal a new mortgage. I'm going to use default as well. So I've done this. That is so okay. And create the object with default values. Having done that, that is remember we go to modify. That is so I'm going to go say public void modify. Make sure we create an object of type view. View v. That is. Uh, what we need to go and go create an intent so an intent intent what we want to call it a new intent refer to the other class that which that activity dot class this that activity dot class and now we can start the uh, start the 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 activity had start the activity having done this we need to go to that activity make sure what we got here all of these so i've got this one is uh, the id is 10 15 30 so i need to make sure and the edit text as well so it's public for the mortgage first uh, as mortgage don't not use new here okay private ready buttons so i'm going to say rp10 rp15 and rp30 refer to the 10 15 30 there now created the edit text as well it's right one for the amount and not for the uh, right so amount et and the right et now we need to declare them first of all declare the mortgage it is do not use new here refer to the main because what's a static mortgage is called main activity dot mortgage so that's says so we know the exact same object it is. the rptm is defined the view by id that is which is 10 15 rp 15 to the 15 and rp 30 is to the 30 as well now create the that text here yeah. so the amount et find view we remember the data amount and the rate at is rate 
at that uh, rate. When done this, remember, we've got something that's called go back to the method, which you can't click at this view, same, typical, yeah? Do not use anything here, for principle. You need to read whatever has been done, and click on finish here, because this is actually the second one. So, let's say update mortgage object, here it is, nothing. So, this, finish it. So, we do this, finish, right. We're going to go create a method, which is public uh, void, doesn't take any input. Let's see, see from there. Uh, update mortgage. It is uh, first of all get number of selected years. It is by years by the user. Get years. And if it's 10, uh, so say uh, RP10 is set uh, it's true. Uh, else if uh, is the uh, the 15 uh, because 30 is default, so I don't use the default. Okay, so check. There it is. Having done that, uh, they will do the other ones. So I'll mount ET. There it is. Uh, set text. Definitely is uh, it is plus mortgage dot get amount it has been done by the user and the same for right set the text on it okay it is so set set it is set text okay I've done this uh, well could show you how you do this uh, control O the start we know gonna use it well run the program and see how that looks there you go so I run it uh, obviously it's not gonna do anything for us. It is because nothing we didn't do anything on uh, on start on the other activity or on main activity that is so when I click on this yeah it is I go select whatever and I go okay around 12.50 uh, 4.7 probably see yeah that is yeah run it there you go it's nothing been changed the reason for that right because I did not say on start that is nothing changed here okay reason for that stops here I can go to the, the, the main activity here it is because we say something control all on start when you come back is you have to go to on start on start here you have to read now look at that set text ed read it a mortgage let's get amount and write it on, on the system right here it is set text read it read get the years and the same things for the rate it is mortgage get get rate there you go. That's okay. And add that percentage to it. The same things for the monthly payment and the total payment. It is get, which is calculate monthly payment, and the total TV prepared to it. Actually, the calculate total payment. Having done this, there you go. Run the program and notice years is not going to change. Because, yeah, very quickly, nothing is going to change. Just I'd explain that's why it is for reasons. Yeah, run the program. It seems there's nothing changed, right? Yeah. So what happens there? If you go back to that activity there, the first thing you do, it is the first thing you do. I'm going to change the name here. I'm going to call it update view. The reason for that, it's a this is object here. Sorry for that. Right. I'm going to get this one. I'm going to put it on its own. It is public. Boy, it same thing. That's that's the one. Okay, what I'm going to do, int, yeah. I'm going to make a mistake here and see that mistake uh, with the purpose and see. I'm using exactly the same years on uh, the uh, years in the layout. There you go. So I've done this. If that is checked, so that's, that is, I can go and I say, okay, so years equal 10. Oh, sorry about this. Let's say again here. There we go. And same things. Otherwise, if you can use else if or you can use if if, if 15 user clicks on that remember the years is gray it means there's something is not right there okay so make sure we choose i'm going to show you how to the try and catch so if i want to just in case anticipate any errors there you go. Uh, so float amount float typical pass float read from the key read from whatever user entered it is uh, two strings and therefore now the mortgage set the mortgage that is set the amount equal IMT. The same things for the right as well. Float, read it. Float RT equal float, pass float, read from whatever the user puts on the keyboard. There you go. All right, get text, two strings. There you go. Same things. Mortgage dot set right as RT. There you go. Catch, just in case number format exceptions, right? Which don't have it. You get so if it's for I'm going to put the the amounts for the default ones okay i'm going to show you how that's run run the program here notice the year is not going to work right however if i come see here reason for that so look at the update here so they have done here now check it 
from the program. Look, the use is not going to work as well. Reason? For, because I use exactly the same name as the layout. Right. So, I right, see it's, it's not changing. Okay, however, however, if I go and modify that here yeah, and I change it right, to stand or, you know, and, and change the values here. Let me give it a new value. It is, let me say, 150,000. And maybe, there you go, it's 150,000. It's working fine. So, there you go. So, it's absolutely fine. That was working. And let me go and check on here. It is. So, I'll make it, let me make it, there you go, 4.7. Run it. So it's absolutely works. There you go. 4.7 hertz, right? Do the calculation. How about the years? If you notice, the years is not changing and the purpose the reason for that because i use exactly the same name as the in the layout and declared it and and if you look if you look at it let's see let me go see this one is everything is fine absolutely it's fine it's here so that's get years it works fine there you go now if i if i go to the you see it's absolutely declared here they see the word years there has that the, the integrated so i go to the data activity if you notice yeah, it's a gray. The DNC years is a gray. So I'm going to put YRS and put uh, YRS as well. Yeah, there you go, change it. And then we go and change, put here, yeah, if I check in here, right? Absolutely on this one. Okay, the reason for that, if you notice, they have got years, years here, right? It is. So let me go in here. And what I'm going to do with this, okay, there we go. And let's go and look YRS again, YRS and change it. Same things, YRS and YRS here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create us an object up there. So I declare as an attribute, sorry, attribute private and YRS. Make sure to remove the int uh, here. There it is. So that's absolutely is work. I run the program now. And see it works fine. And set obviously I didn't say said that. Set mortgage set the years uh YRS. Go run the program. That should work perfectly now. There you go. So that's how we diagnose the SP in the program. Change the values here. So that's two hundred and thirty thousand and obviously for the right is four point seven. There you go. Run the program and should works fine. It is okay. The change is 10 and should work 10. I give it 10 as well. Now, having done all that, what we're going to do, you remember, it's a main activity, it's absolutely look at that, because public is static, static is very important in here. Right, there you go. So it's static, but do not use, I'm using default, do not use mortgage debt new in the data. Use just refer to the other main activity. It is. So I go data activity, data activity, here it is. You go, go back when I go back, she's taken back. So now, having done all this, look at the mortgage. I have to use main activity of mortgage, right? Do not add this. Uh, so, update view, it is. So, an update view, get the years, right? Whatever entered here, and it go. So, it's absolutely working. It's fine. Let's go back here. All right. So, when I go back, it takes me back here. The, right, so you can update the mortgage whatever is being written on by the user here or clicked on the idea buttons as well so that's all being done here now let me check check on the try and catch try and catch we don't need it here uh, but this is just only for them well, let me just there you go come to this one hey there there you go there you go so it's absolutely there's no need for them there you go so let me uh, first of all go set there right there's years Right, and there's the amount and there's the right. So as uh, soon as you do that, it goes back to the on start. I read here, you write here, it is, you write, set and read here the get. Right. So set in data uh, activity and get inside main because that's variable or the attribute is static. All right, start now. Run the programs, you see without the, the try and catch. Run it is absolutely less than 10 and 75,000 and change what to 4.42. There you go. Run it. There you go. It's absolutely working fine. So there's no need for that. So remove these ones here. There you go. So it's absolutely fine. Okay. Now, having done this, you see that? Let's see. Now, we'll recap on this. On the recap here, make sure what we do here. I'm going to change. Let me change format. 
So I've done, I'm very happy with this. Gen 4, I'll make it uh, bold and the size 20. Make them all of them. There you go. Copy and paste, copy and paste. There, copy, there again, copy and paste. There it is. Copy and paste for the interest rate. And the data rate. There it is. Monthly payment. So on. Okay, that's good. Then run the program and see. That looks nicer now. And you can update the, the, the other for that activity layout as well. Look at that activity, you can change it similar to what I've done now. Okay, so the here 250,000. Change number of years to 15. There's a uh, four point, let me go 3.3. Okay, uh, and sound here done. It's absolutely working fine. Right, you can change number of years if you want. You can change any variable you want. So, there you go. Okay, brilliant.